Good day everyone. We have a sequence of figures. Figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3. And they are in the form of diagrams. And we are asked to draw figure 4 of the sequence. So let's look for a pattern. So the first figure has one peak, the second one has two peaks and the third one has three peaks. So we assume that the fourth figure would have four peaks. So we start with these four peaks. Okay, so this will be figure 4. Okay, so now we have to fill in the blanks in the table below. So, first blank is here. The colored rows have been omitted from the table. So, if we look for a pattern here, the number of the figure is the first number that we write. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 6, 6. So we have to write a 6 here. The second number is always number 2. Third number is the number of the figure multiplied by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. The parameter is the sum of the numbers from the second cell or from the second column. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 12 is 20. So with a parameter of 65 now we want to figure out what to write in the second column. And what we observe is that the parameter is increasing by 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. We assume that this pattern will continue to increase by 3. So what we do is we subtract 20 from 65 and we get 45. Then we divide 45 by 3. And this gives us 15. So the difference between the 6 row and the row with 65 in it is 15. So 15 plus 6 it's 21, which comes here. And if the first number of the sum is always the number of the figure, we start with the number of the figure, which is 21 plus. The second number is always 2. And the third number is the number of the figure multiplied by 2. 6 twos are 12, 21 times 2 is 42. 21 plus 2 is 23, plus 42 is 65. So our answer checks out so far. Now, figure n is a variable which represents the figure number for any figure. So we start with n because we always start this sum with the number of the figure. Okay, so figure 1, we began with 1. Figure 2, we began with 2. Figure 3, we began with 3 and so on. Figure 6, we began with 6. Figure 21, we began with 21. Figure n, we begin with n. The second number is always 2. The third number is the number of the figure multiplied by 2. So n times 2 is 2n. The figure of parameter we simplify the expression from before. So 2n plus n is 3n plus 2. So we have filled all of our blanks in our table. Last part of the question, show that no figure can have a perimeter of 100 units. So if a figure has a perimeter of 100 units, then 3n plus 2 
that be equal to 100 so that's determine the number of this figure and let's subtract 2 from both sides so 100 subtract 2 is 98 98 let's divide both sides by 3 so 98 divided by 3 3 into 9 3 3 into 8, 3 into 6, 2, remainder 2, 32 and 2 thirds. So we are unable to get a positive whole number. And there is no figure called figure 32 and 2 thirds. It has to be a positive whole number. Therefore, no figure can have a perimeter. No figure can have a perimeter of 100 units okay since the figure number is not a positive whole number thanks for watching and do have a wonderful day good luck in your studies